Welcome back. Lesotho's finance minister, Mwekezi Majoro, is now the incoming prime minister, the Council of State. The body that advises His Majesty the King approved the proposed changes to Parliament. He will replace embattled prime minister Tom Tabani. SABC reporter Rapelang Khatebe joins me now on the line from Lesotho's capital, Maseru. Rapelang, let's just first start with this announcement. Given the things that the Prime Minister has been saying over the past couple of days, did it come as a surprise or uh, was it clear that pressure is being brought to bear? Yes, Tepiso. It has been a little bit of a marathon to an extent that we were absolutely not sure as to how events would turn up. But we knew that the process that actually started from Parliament, which culminated in him terminating the, um, the, the existing coalition of the 4x4 four four coalition government. Uh, we knew that from there on, things would actually now take a, a turn of which we, it could not be stopped. I think I've just lost my light. Uh, I don't know if you are able to still see me. We can't really see you, Rapelam, but I'm sure your your voice will suffice for now. But perhaps if you can just take an opportunity to quickly switch on the lights as uh, we recap to the viewers what we're talking about, uh, some stunning uh, events taking place in Lesotho. I'd say a turnaround, really, given the statements that have been made by Lesotho's Prime Minister, Tom Tabani, of late, suggesting to some that he may wait a while. In some instances, he's blatantly said that he's not going to step down, uh, but now it seems that he has announced, Rapelang, that he would leave office uh, and he said that a new premier would be sworn in on Tuesday, as we've just said, whom that is. But he's not said anything about when he himself will leave office. Is that clear at this point? Yes, absolutely. This time we have information. The Council of State actually said and met today. This is the highest body that actually makes the decision. And information that has been communicated to us is that tomorrow he will do the public announcement, he will address the nation, and he will tender his resignation. The expectation is that on Wednesday, the swearing-in ceremony will be taking place, of which will confirm the incoming Prime Minister as Majoro, uh, Dr. Mwikezi Majoro, hopefully as the one who will be taking the reins from Taban. So from this point on, it is official. We are expecting that tomorrow he will be addressing the nation as a whole. And as you say, just in terms of the coalition, things have been very rocky. Uh, a lot of the prime minister's supporters uh, have abandoned ship. He's been criticized pretty much from all quarters. So let's talk about Mugedi Majoro and what he brings to the table. Who is he within the bigger milieu of party politics? Dr. Majoro really is a dark horse, I think, to watch for. He is a PhD holder in economics. Um, he has been serving uh, his constituency pretty good, and he's been doing relatively good in, a, in, in finance. We have always complained that he was unable to actually put in place the measures of, especially considering how strained the budget is, Dr. Majoro has been uh, suffering to implement some of the decisions that he made. But we are expecting that at this point, he will now know exactly where the economy stands and he would know how to tackle the situation now with a little bit of emboldened power as the incoming prime minister, really. Now, in terms of uh, Tom Tobani, he lost his majority in Parliament last week, especially with the coalition um, backing him, uh, falling apart. When will a new government be expected to be installed? Uh, I think the tricky part, which is more interesting, is that the, the executive of the ruling ABC actually came together. So in terms of the majority and the number, they still hold... The majority they become the decider and the leading party of the coalition so it is really i think up to the nec to hold the reins it's up to majoro to make sure that 
He brings together the best from his party, such that by 2022, when Lesotho actually goes to elections, because this is supposed to be interim a government that leads to the final elections, which is on the 2022. We are expecting that by then, he shall have at least made sure that the party comes together and goes to elections much more united. So in terms of the ABC as a brand, it is relatively still intact. If they can hold it right to the end, we believe they still have a chance to revive themselves. Yes, there are factions, very deep factions within. But I think if Majoro can actually put the reins together, holding his NEC together, it is quite possible that they still stand a bit of a chance. Pictures uh, that we're uh, beaming to the viewers there, a picture of Prime Minister Tom Tabani and uh, the First Lady, Maya Saya. What mm -hmm. is expected to happen going forward? Tom Tabani had said that he can't be charged because he argued that he's Prime Minister. So seeing that that will no longer be the case, do we know when and if he will be formally charged? The truth is we now get to wonder and we shall tell, turn to the legal fraternity to try and understand what will happen because remember he still has a case which was in the lower court where he was challenging whether the incumbent prime minister can be tried in the courts of law as a sitting prime minister. So the court was about to make that determination in the coming weeks uh, we wonder what happens now when the status quo change. Or could there have been some deal that was struck in the background? We wait to see. But as things stand, he remains the accused, and we all need to wait and see whether he now will stand trial, uh, considering that he is now no longer a sitting prime minister, but a former prime minister. Indeed. Uh, all eyes on the Mountain Kingdom as the situation unfolds. Thank you very much, SABC reporter Rappelang Khaitebe, coming to us live from Maseru Lesotho.